The Emporium series continues once again. If you haven't watched the other videos, we've been doing uh, several Emporium tours. The Emporium is our place in the house where we, uh, you know, our basement where we like to uh, display some of the things we collect as we go to flea markets and grot sales and stuff. And a lot of these items were items that I had as a as a kid. You say, what are these monsters? Well, this section right here is Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters was absolutely one of my favorite as a, you know, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine year old, year old boy. I played with uh, probably Ghostbusters and Ninja Turtles were top one and two. Uh, but Ghostbusters was great. You know, the movies and of course the cartoon. I probably watched more of the cartoon than I did of the movies. Even though the first movie I ever saw in the theater was Follow That Bird, which is, has nothing to do with Ghostbusters. That's Sesame Street. But the second one was Ghostbusters 2. I don't know how old I was. I don't even know what year it came out. Probably around, I don't know, 87, 80, you know, somewhere in there. I would have been like three or four, but I remember seeing it. Ghostbusters 2. So I've got a lot of these figures here. We're going to start up here with the best figures. These are the four original um, Ghostbusters figures. And those were actually the four that I had as a kid. Minus Peter Venkman. I don't know if I ever had Peter Venkman. Or maybe I didn't. I lost him. I don't believe I remember having him. So I did pick up Peter Venkman. Uh, but those other three, Winston and Egon and Ray, those are the four that I had or the three that I had when I, was a, when I was a kid that I played with. In the back, you see some in packaging. Those are not the originals from 84 or, or when these came out, I don't know, mid 80s. Uh, they were the remake ones, but I picked all of those up. They're still in the, in the case there. They look identical, but they are remakes that came out a few years ago. A lot of the, uh, the figures, they had, you know, that, this, these are the original ones. And then they had like more series of them. You see these three here, I'm missing Winston. You look up top here, these ones with these uh, these uh, costumes on. I am missing Egon. And then you look over here, there's another series, these lighter, like, pastel colors, missing Winston and and uh, Peter. But I will be uh, be looking for others. And uh, and then down here at the bottom, you can see some lunch boxes in the back. This was a, uh, a Ghostbusters car that I had as, as a kid. And... Um, you know, there's, a, there's another series there. I think that's, I think I got all of those. I think those go together. And then some of the bad, the bad guys, you know, the mailman, the cop that's a skeleton, the lady with her eyes pop out, the football player. There's a few there that I do not have. I'm still, I'm still looking for them. Keep my eyes open. Um, I'll, I like those original ones. And then, of course, we got some Lego. There's a Lego car there that the boys have added. This car I picked up at a, at a sale. It's like a, like a, street sweeper or something another like race car type thing back there those were the ones i didn't have as a kid but i did i did um uh i picked up recently uh the ghostbusters car right there ecto-1 that is a remake that is not the original i did have the original <laughs> the pieces were gone and i had it about the time i graduated high school i still had it in, a, in my, at my house and I know my parents' basement flooded when I was in college, and a lot of stuff they had to get rid of, and because it was not only it was it, it was a mess, and so some of the things got thrown away, and I think that got thrown away in the mix. So I do have a new one of that, and I, I'm also I'm very very thankful and happy that they redid those. I want to still get an original, but you know, pricey. That's a, um, a that's a remake of a smaller version that's not open there in the back of that box. There's just some more boxes. There's some that uh, Slimer. That's a remake. They, these have come out now with the new movies and such, and some of the, they even got a new cartoon out. And down here at the bottom, I picked these up at Ollie's for like a like two bucks each, and those are all um, those are all you know new from a new cartoon that's out. But I, I wanted to add those since I got them so cheap. I picked up a set for Lincoln because Lincoln loves it as well. He's been watching it, and then I've got these here. This is a Scooby, so this doesn't. Uh, you know, go along with it. But there's these um, Ghostbuster figures. I only have two of them. I don't, you know, I I just started recently buying, like, new figures because, you know, I got other expenses and such. I, I'd look for the old stuff, but if I can find a deal on them, I will, I will get them and add them. Now, I'm going to, I got another section I'm going to show you real quick that kind of has to do with Ghostbusters. Well, it does. 
There is a Ghostbusters Shawn Michaels. That's Shawn Michaels. It's WWE mixed with Ghostbusters. They have a set of those out. The only one I believe I have is Shawn Michaels. I think there's a Rock. There's an Austin. So that's kind of cool. Um, like I said, I haven't been buying new figures until recently. And those were kind of from a few years ago. So we like to show off some of the photos that we take that go along with our collection. We do that for just about every section. If you look here in the back, this is Ethan and Brady. Ethan dressed up as Peter Venkman for Halloween several years ago. Uh, Brady is Inspector Gadget, which is not Ghostbusters, but we got a photo of that there. And Peter fell over. This is a photo of me outside of the firehouse in New York City. We were taking a group of students, my wife um, and I were taking a group of students to New York City for a class trip. And I said, we got to walk by the fire station. It was all tarped over, scaffolding up. And uh, so I didn't get to, uh, that's all I got to see. <laughs> you could see the shape of the building. They were redoing it, which is a cool thing. But um, I'll have to go back. But that's what I got, the door there. I don't know if there's any other photos here. I guess that's all the photos for Ghostbusters. And there's one other section I wanna, I wanna highlight. Let me go down here. And it is different kind of Ghostbusters. This is the Filmation Ghostbusters. I watch this just as much as I watch, well, I watch it probably just as much as I watched, you know how the cartoon says, the real Ghostbusters. Well, it's because of these guys. That's uh, Tracy, Eddie, and Jake. Jake being the taller, thinner individual. Uh, Tracy being the ape. Eddie being the other gentleman on the right. And then that was um, a, um, uh, a thermos. I had that lunchbox that I had in preschool uh, of the, the Filmation Ghostbusters. That is not the one I had, though, because I got rid of it. However, that topper, I believe, is. I don't know. It looks a little smaller, but I always believed that was the one has my name on it. Uh, but I picked those up. Um, I, there's a whole set of those. Those are super expensive. At least the whole set is. These, I got a pretty good deal on them, but more than I probably want to pay. I would like to get all the others. There was a movie that came out in the 70s that was Ghostbusters. And then the, you know, Dan Aykroyd, 1984 Ghostbusters came out. They did not have the rights to the name. It was going to be called, they were hoping to get the rights to the name. It was going to be called Ghost Blasters, the 1984, the one everybody knows. And they did, they were able to get the rights to it. But this cartoon came out after the success of the 84 Ghostbusters. And uh, that's why the cartoon's called the Real Ghostbusters, because of these guys. But it was really good cartoons, made by Filmation. Really good. And these are my favorite out of all the Ghostbusters. I love these. And I like to get the bad guys and, and such to go along with them. Thanks for watching. More Emporium Series videos to come. Don't forget to like and subscribe.